stay to the right. I just can't wait uh, for the response from this auction company. I mean, for insurance company. Uh, if they're gonna accept it or they're gonna counter it or what. Because like 6800 is a pretty damn good price for that. And I'm just too excited. Too excited. Unfortunately, it's not an S model, it's a base. And uh, actually, I was pretty amazed to see the manual seat adjustment. So back and forth. The only thing electric for this seat is the is the back. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, it's, I guess it's 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 a fun car. Uh, and if you guys do know how to get to the you know back trunk. When the button in, inside is not working, let me know because it, it's 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 kind of tight. It's kind of tight there uh, to squeeze. Probably only if you're like very tiny person, just to get between this like the motor, the motor compartment, and the window. <laughs> uh, but yeah, if we're gonna get it, hopefully. We'll, we'll, we'll see. I'm gonna show you and we're gonna go through that together. Take care guys. I'll keep it posted. <laughs> okay, uh, some news, some update. Uh, so my my broker uh, shoot me the text uh, with a screenshot that the insurance company countered uh, 11 grand uh, for this Cayman and like a few minutes later <laughs> uh, he called me saying they sent another counter offer of 7700 <laughs> and uh, I was actually about to you know purchase it for nine grand and then he told me let me do my business uh, I'm gonna get back to you so who knows, maybe we can squeeze a little less than 7700. Um, I'll keep you posted, guys. <laughs> I just can't wait. 7700 is, is anyway is a good deal already, but let, we'll see. <laughs> uh, I just got a call uh, from my uh, broker told me that uh, he didn't negotiate with the insurance company and the final price is 73 hard bucks <laughs> which is insane <laughs> oh my god it's, I guess it's officially the um, cheapest running and driving Cayman in the US <laughs> I still cannot believe it's probably gonna take uh, take some time to to get it from there uh, probably a couple days and I didn't I mean I didn't close the hood to make it easier to open it once I'm, <laughs> I was thinking I'm gonna, I'm gonna purchase it so just to make it easier I did disconnect the battery I did uh, not close the hood and um, I'm still thinking about if I can drive it back or need to tow it back since you know all those gremlins uh, in the car because of some, some shorts but anyway <laughs> I'm gonna keep you posted guys maybe not <laughs> We could have just put it in the back of the truck and called it a day. <laughs> Guys, this is the day. Me and my buddy Dave <laughs> just went to get this treasure. If it's a treasure, of course. Maybe there is a dead body in the trunk. How bad do you think you screwed up on this one? <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, if I had one of those sled decks for the back where you put two snowmobiles on the back, you could have easily put it on. I mean, look at the wheel bit. I could touch both tires <laughs> at the same 
Yeah, don't lose those. Less investment. <laughs> Less investment. <laughs> Porsche's cruise. Porsche's cruise, $50. <laughs> it's on I mean, there. there is like not even a single dent anywhere, looks like. I mean, it looks like whoever owned it took care of it. So you think it'll stay on with my old uh, deck boards? That's Absolutely, that's, that's safe, yeah, that's safe. Yeah. Should we spray paint them black so nobody are silver so nobody sees them? <laughs> Stay true. <laughs> uh, sir, you can't have a Porsche on your deck. <laughs> okay guys, let's, let's get home. Yeah, let's get home and do some burnouts. Huh? And there she is home. Was able to unload it from that trailer. So no problem, just started it and it it did everything by her by herself so uh, I did a little homework and the all rear end the rear lights even the rear uh, you know the spoiler uh, is being driven by the uh, rear control module which is located underneath this seat so i'll see i'm um, i don't know if if the seat needs to be removed completely or i just can you know unscrew the bolts and kind of tilt it out of the way um just to get the access to it and as well i guess i'm gonna need to rem remove those switches uh, because they doesn't work and by the way the rear ledge i guess is also related to this module so um i'm gonna i'm gonna try to remove it and i will see what's inside be able to see it I just get some more light from my cell phone it's kind of dark in here but I just disconnected the seat harness oh, crap. and Here's the connections uh, inside this, you know, connector, and you can see there is no any rust, oxidation, like anything. So the water didn't come up here in case it was flooded. Also, uh, there are some papers in here. I mean, it's 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 all clean. If it was flooded, it could be probably dumped like this the, below the carpet or so, because I don't know that the seat from the uh, from underneath looks looks clean. Okay, now I'll try to uh, get the seat out, and we'll go from there. I decided not to remove the seat completely but i just did kind of move it forward and found some cash in here so uh, that should give me enough access you know to remove that thing and uh, i'll keep you posted once i do so
I really don't know if you can see anything, but I just um, I just remove this cover, and now we need to disconnect like one, two. Looks like there are three connectors, and I'll be able to get it out. I just don't want to break the clips. Some oxidation, on, uh, some oxidation on this connector. So obviously the water was in this little well. The second connector is almost out. Yeah, that looks a little nasty. And this one looks a little nasty too. Wanna take a closer look? It's freaking cold. Uh, so definitely oxidation on those connectors. And let's take a look on this puppy. A lot of oxidation in here. But I'm gonna take it inside and take a look what is inside this module if it's possible to open it but you know it's always possible to open it no matter what it is it definitely has been submerged why it's not working why it doesn't work holy crap i guess there is no chance to bring this one back to life Just a little oxidation. 